some more Jeremy Macklin talk for you guys since that's what everybody wants to talk about right now. So uh, let me get into some stuff that I really forgot to get into yesterday. Uh, I did the uh, Jeremy Macklin release video basically right after it happened. So uh, some things that I forgot to mention, you know, if the Eagles were to sign Macklin, what does that mean? What, what would happen to the other wide receivers on the roster? Uh, generally, you keep about six wideouts on your roster, and you're going to probably keep your rookies, uh, Gibson and Matt Collins. You're probably going to keep Nelson Aguilar because you're going to have to pay to cut him. Uh, Alshon Jeffrey you would keep, obviously. Uh, so it, it kind of comes down to uh, Torrey Smith and whether or not you want to trade, potentially trade Jordan Matthews. Um, I'm inclined to, well, just... Uh, release Torrey Smith and just bring on Jeremy Macklin. I mean, Torrey Smith cost what five million dollars a season, so you can get, you know, there's your there's your money right there uh, to to sign Macklin. Because at this point in the proceedings, I don't think Macklin's going to get a lot of money. You know, I I don't think he's going to get uh, say more than what seven eight million dollars. I think you might be able to get him for five. Um, I I would think maybe he would want a one year deal. So he gets his one-year deal. He proves himself. Uh, release Torrey Smith would take... Actually, you might be right about that. Um, let me see. What would it be? It would be 500,000. 500,000 hits. So that's actually not money, Not much. Depends on money. Smith is dimin, diminution cheap. Smith is, four, is, Smith is like 5 million, and you can probably get Macklin for the same price. Uh... Yeah, yeah, I I, lo I love how everyone just like wants the the trade scenarios. I mean, I, I know I saw the one uh, Jordan Matthews on my comments for a second rounder. For Jordan Matthews, considering he's in the final year of his rookie deal, I maybe you could get like a fourth or fifth. I don't think you get a second. I mean, obviously, if you get a second, like shit, oh my god, that'd be amazing. But I don't think you can get a second rounder for Jordan Matthews. Um, I I'm, you know, I'm inclined to believe that Jordan Matthews is gonna walk. At the end of the year, uh, he's going to get like, I don't know, Travis Benjamin slash Mohamed Sanu kind of money. And I am not giving Jordan Matthews that. So I, I'm, I'm willing to trade Jordan Matthews. I, I know, uh, I know um, you know, my boy Hate Darius, he had actually had an awesome tweet yesterday uh, about, you know, Macklin and Jordan Matthews the last two years. And Jordan Matthews has uh, more receiving yards than him. And, you know, this is absolutely true. I mean, obviously, Ma Macklin had a down year last year, only played 12 games, dealt with some groin injuries, only put up like 530 yards. But I'm more inclined to believe that Macklin is more the 800, 900-type yard receiver. Obviously, he also has the history with Doug Peterson, too. So if he comes here, it's not like he has to learn a whole new playbook. I, he would already be acclimated to the offense. So I don't think, you know, there would be – uh, yeah, there would be a seamless transition. There wouldn't be a problem there as well. So obviously you're bringing in – if you would bring in Macklin, it would be in June, you would think, well, maybe he has to learn a playbook. I don't think so so much. I, I think he's already, you know, kind of got it down. So that's the way I look at that. Um, what else? What, am I missing anything? Worried about the injuries? Hey, man, um, I actually just looked at this. He – I was surprised. Actually, Macklin's actually played more games than I thought. Uh, during his NFL career, obviously he's he missed the one whole year uh, with the Achilles injury. But uh, let's see, four of the seven full seasons that he's played, he's played 15 or more games. Uh, then the other seasons, 13 games and 12. I'm seeing. Oh, actually, he played he played in 15 or more games in five of the seven full seasons he's played in. So actually, he, he is not as injured as much as I thought he would be. And the other thing I, I've heard people say you know, over the last day or two is, um, well, this sort of thing happens all the time where you know, if, if a guy underperforms, he gets cut, da-da-da-da-da. But this usually happens when the guy enters his 30s. I haven't seen a guy get cut when he's 29 like this. So uh, what did he hurt? I think he, had, uh, he dealt with like groin injuries last year. So... Yeah, I mean, uh, he had like 1,088 yards for Kansas City's first year, which on paper, one, 188 actually may not seem a lot, but for Kansas City's offense, that is a lot considering how short their passing game is. 
Uh, I see Matthews is a younger Macklin, similar early careers. Why should we pick him up? Don't get... Da, da, da. Okay, I, I missed that. Um, yeah. Cowboys do suck. Hell yeah. All right. Uh, I th- I think I, I think I covered everything that I wanted. But yeah, man. I mean, M- Macklin is shit, man. Three years removed from a thirteen hundred yard season. Two years removed from a thousand yard season. Had a bad year last year. I think last year was just the outlier, and I think this year he would be back to get into that eight hundred nine hundred yard range. So that's the way I look at Macklin. He's not a five hundred thirty six yard guy. So. Let's see if Andy will cut Marcus Peters. <laughs> do a live stream with EDP. Actually, I should. I should do that, actually. I, sh- I haven't done that one in a while. I haven't done one in a while with him. Actually, this would have been a good live stream to do with him. Macklin? I'm sure EDP would be all about Macklin coming back. Hell yeah. So, all right. I think that's it. Unless I'm missing something. I think I, think I got everything that I wanted to say, so... Um, I, I did think it was funny. <laughs> there was a Chiefs fan in, in my comment section on the last video. Uh, I, I, dude, he was, he was like, oh, getting rid of Macklin's okay. The, the Chiefs receivers are good. Cap is strapped. Yeah, I, I talked about that in the beginning of the video. If you get rid of Torrey Smith, you clear up your money right there. You can also cut Ryan Matthews. There's a lot of money you can free up to sign Jeremy Macklin, you don't, you don't, you're, it's not like you have to spend $10 million to get him, so, hell yeah, Chris the Beast, I got, I gotta get in that, uh, the Philly Knights chat more, I gotta get back into that, I stopped doing that for a while, you guys are all the fucking shit, so, I gotta get, get you guys all on the show, that's what I gotta do, all you boys, yeah, Friggin' uh, get you, Desert Eagle, Joey Shakes, Eagle Speed, all you boys. Just remember when Macklin was the number two with D-Jax, he was great. Macklin, dude, Macklin can still run routes. He's still got those soft mittens, toe-tapping on the sidelines, man. You know, it's... You would think, like, reading between the lines, if we have cap room, I have no... Yeah, get rid of it, da-da-da. Yeah, okay. Macklin over Deshaun. I, I was always a Macklin over Deshaun guy. All right, I just lost my train of thought. I got to stop looking at the comments. It always fucking throws me off. I was going to make a point and I forgot. Oh, well. Oh, well. I forget. Um, oh, that's what I wanted to say. So, you know, some people were like, yeah, yeah, read between the lines. Macklin got cut for a reason. Da, 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 da. But this is Andy Reid we're talking about here. A- Andy Reid has made has always made some puzzling decisions during his time here in Philadelphia. I mean, that that was the guy that decided to draft Danny Watkins along with Howie Roseman. He's the same guy that he he thinks too much. He overthinks things, Mr. Andy Reid. That's what he does. Trade up, get Brandon Graham instead of Earl Thomas. Trade up for a guard, Sean Andrews. Like making Juan Castillo the defensive coordinator. Great point. Actually, actually like a perfect illustration of what I'm talking about. Actually. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Kansas City saves $10 million by releasing him. Yes. That is correct. And the Kansas City fans, the fanboys, they're like, well, they can use that money to uh, sign a couple guys to extensions. But, but the way I see it, I'm like, Kansas City is still ready to win right now. They're still ready to win right now. Why are they getting rid of guys? Why are they getting rid of Macklin? I, I get the Charles thing, but, but Macklin? Ah, uh, yeah, Tyree Kill's their number one. Tyree Kill. You know, Tyree Kill's a good receiver, but he's not a number one. Would you trade DGB for $5? Hell, I'd, I'd trade that motherfucker for five cents.
I don't think anyone, unless your name is Julio Jones, is worth spending that money. Uh, I, I missed that. You know, I, honestly, I, I have thought of that. Um, instead, just, just paying Aguilar to cut him and keeping Torrey Smith. I have thought of that. But from an organizational point of view, I think they would probably cut Torrey Smith. So, they'd cut Torrey Smith first before uh, Mr. Aguilar. Look at the year Mac was drafted. The Eagles could have took Vontae Davis. Vontae Davis, very underrated corner, cornerback. Although, he, he did have a down year last year. Hank Basket, linked to the Chiefs. Not sure if that's a joke or if that's real. <laughs> but it, it, it probably would be real. I think we should watch Aguilar, switch Aguilar to, to CB, then, then get some... Uh, it, ah! Comments are going too quick. All right. Anyway, I went for 11 minutes. I said everything that I wanted to say. Um, it, I'll say this again. Right, I've said this in a, another video, but if you got any topics that you want me to talk about, let me know in the comments section below. We could have got Jarvis... Oh, God. Yeah, we did do that, didn't we? Oh, well. Jarvis Landry. <laughs> Nay Brown, help is trash, fuck the Cowboys. I'll end it on that note.